Going to have the set of questions for the alkenes and addition polymers playlist. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try them first. Okay, so make a start. You'll notice I've already put the carbons and hydrogens on um, the naphthalene molecule. So we've got 10 carbons and 8 hydrogens. So it was option A. So there's the reaction equation for the reaction of pentuene with bromine. So what's the name of this molecule here? It's 2,3-dibromopentane. So option D. Next question, we've got to identify the type of isomerism in each of the double bonds. So I've just made a copy of the molecule so we can talk about each bond separately. So if we look at the first um, double bond here, so the priority group on the first carbon is the CH3 group. So carbon's got a higher atomic number than hydrogen. Moving on to the next one, we've got carbon here. We've also got a carbon there. So then we've got to look at what the, each carbon's bonded to. So this carbon's bonded to three hydrogens. This carbon's bonded to a hydrogen, but then another carbon. So this one takes priority. So that makes that double bond an E configuration. Moving on to double bond two. So on this carbon here, we've got a hydrogen and a carbon. So obviously that takes priority. And then on this um, carbon, we've got a hydrogen and a carbon of a methyl. So obviously that takes priority. So we've got another E, so it's double E, so it's option C. Moving on to the reactions of compound C. So reaction one, what's happened? Well, obviously the double bond's broken and we've got an H and an OH. So the reagent is actually steam. And the condition is you need a strong acid catalyst. So I would always go for something like H2SO4 or H3PO4 catalyst. Moving on to the name for compound D now. So it's going to be based on ethane because we've got two carbons. It's going to be a dibromo and it's going to be a dichloro. And the dibromo is going to come before the dichloro because of the alphabet rule. So the trick with this is just getting the numbers right. So if we name it this way, we get one, two dibromo to 2 dichloroethane or if we start here we get 1 2 dibromo 1 1 dichloro so we've obviously got to go on the lowest numbers so it's 1 2 dibromo 1 1 dichloroethane now the mechanism for the reaction between compound C and bromine so we need a dipole across the bromine molecule so it's delta plus on the bromine closest to the double bond delta minus on the other one pair of electrons from the double bond come out onto the delta positive bromine. We're going to break that bond by heterolytic fission. So we're going to attach this bromine to either of those carbons. I've gone on the left hand one, which means the right hand one has the positive charge. The bromine becomes, or the other bromine becomes a Br- ion. Put that lone pair on there. Then we take the curly arrow from the lone pair to the carbon and form that bond uh, between the carbon and the bromine. And finally, part C about the addition polymerization of C to E. So there's compound C again. We're going to need a lot of these. So we represent that with that small n. And we break the double bond and put some end bonds on. Put the brackets around. Make sure these end bonds poke through the brackets. And then just put all the atoms back on. And then because we've got n of these, we get N of the repeat unit, so that little N goes there. And for the final part of the question, an advantage and disadvantage of combusting um, polymer E as a method of disposal. So advantage, well, the energy released from the combustion could be used to generate electricity. And the disadvantage of combusting polymer E is down to the fact that it's got chlorine in it, and it's gonna produce hydrogen chloride, which is an acidic gas and highly corrosive. 